Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Dr. Nasir once again from Seed School of Excellence. Today, uh, I'm addressing those students who are uh, right now in the middle of uh, choosing their subjects between sciences and humanities. Now, as far as uh, sciences subjects in A levels or O levels is concerned, it's very clear that you will have to go for either pre engineering or pre medical, that is, biology, chemistry, and uh, physics, or if you are going for uh, pre-engineering then you will be opting for maths instead of biology and then physics and chemistry along with that. And um, as far as humanities is concerned, uh, many people get confused because they are mostly asking that what kind of career and what kind of profession uh, mostly will be able to get hold of. Uh, so I would say that first of all they should be clear about the subjects that they are opting for and these subjects are supposed to be connected with the profession that uh, they are planning uh, to opt in uh, future. Uh, not the university, not the discipline, but the profession. The profession is very much important to, to be considered. And for that you will have to assess your aptitude, for that you will have to assess the market trends, for that you will have to assess the marketability of those disciplines, uh, uh, for that you will have to assess that further how many opportunities you can open up through those professions. So it's a very kind of a, like you know complex phenomena and it needs to be properly addressed. So as far as humanities is concerned, I would strongly recommend going for business studies. In combination with business studies, you can opt for economics, you can opt for English language. Those who are uh, later on uh, after doing their bachelor's or master's are planning for CSS. So I would strongly recommend that they should add English language as an additional subject. Now, having said this, uh, business studies is basically, since I'm expert in this particular subject, having a PhD in the same subject, uh, will be actually having five units, which is inclusive of uh, uh, HR, uh, people in organization, that is uh, marketing, finance, uh, accounts, economics, uh, operations, operations management, strategic management, around about five to six major topics are there and then they are properly extended into a number of different chapters. So it's a very kind of a unique course which is combining multiple subjects into one single subject. Then economics is a pure economics um, where mostly students will be studying the fiscal policies, uh, monetary policies and as far as strategic planning is concerned uh, for any country that will be mostly studied in uh, economic subject. Uh, opting for sociology will give going to give you the flavor of how the society works and uh, what are the different philosophies, what are the different uh, perspectives and theories in existence right now for the past more than four or five hundred years like for example Marxism. Uh, Weber uh, interactionist approach, uh, functionalist approach and these different philosophies and perspectives will going to take into account different institutions and um, like for example political system like for example the foundation of family, education system, uh, the phenomena of youth in any country, in any society and uh, uh, at the same time it will also going to consider how religion plays important role in making or evolving the fabric of a certain society. So that is basically about sociology. Another option is law, yes, if anybody is planning to become a lawyer, successful lawyer, uh, along with these subjects he or she can opt for law subject as well and mostly our law in A levels is covering up uh, British uh, law. Uh, British constitutions, uh, the inspiration takes from British uh, constitution. So having said this, uh, I think in a very short span of time, uh, very briefly, I communicated, I uh, shared with you my point of view uh, that in humanities these subjects can be opted and I would strongly say that along with sciences, those students who are taking sciences subjects, they should add a subject or two from the humanities as well. Uh, because for overall grooming of a child, it is very much important instead of uh, relying on three subjects, one should opt for four to five or six subjects at the max, provided if he can manage his time in an organized manner and can prepare. So if there is any query, if there is any question, if there is anything that uh, I can uh, further uh, additionally uh, as an institute we can do for you, you are most welcome to contact on our contact numbers uh, on Facebook page and uh, Inshallah, hopefully, we'll be able to guide you properly. Pakistan's in the bath, Pakistan's in the bath.